It's finally time to talk about my aquarium. Let's go. This is my 65 gallon saltwater Red Sea Max C250 Reef Aquarium. It's been running for over two years. And if you notice in the past few months, I haven't really been covering it too much just because the tank has not been doing very well. All the coral just started shrinking up and dying and I started getting a little bit of red slime as well. So finally yesterday, I had one of my friends who is very knowledgeable in aquariums come over and do a full testing of everything in my aquarium. The thing is we couldn't really find too much that was wrong but one thing that popped out right away was that the nutrient level in my aquarium was so low that it was almost sterile. What he said that meant was that I did not have enough fish in my aquarium and I wasn't feeding the fish enough in order to sustain the biological cycle and a lot of it was probably breaking down. I was a little confused about the red slime in the tank because I thought that that was a byproduct of having too much nutrients in the tank. But he said that actually it does happen when there is no nutrients in the tank and the red slime algae is actually trying to suck up the last of the nutrients. So that means is I can get some more fish and I contacted my other friend in the Bay Area who raises a lot of fish and he has picked out a few good healthy ones for me to get. So we're gonna go and pick it up. Before we head off to my friend's place, I thought I would stop off at another aquarium store just to check it out. It's right next to where my friend has his fish. Aquarium. has a lot of stuff. I wish I lived closer, <laughs> but I'm not gonna buy any fish from them just because my friend has some already ready for me. So I got the Midas bunny. Okay, you think that would do well? Look at that Gatsby. You see what we got here? First off, we got a Midas Blenny orange sided fairy wrasse. Karen's wrasse. Fairy wrasses come in like the coolest colors. African leopard wrasse. And of course, in order to add the fish, we need to acclimate them first to the water in the aquarium. So what we do is we set up a drip loop where we drip some of the water from the aquarium slowly into the water that they came in. Usually you're not supposed to add so many fish at the same time when your tank is new. However, since my tank is established, it can handle the bio Load. We're gonna let this drip acclimate for about an hour or so. Okay, it's time to add the fish to the aquarium. The most territorial fish is my yellow tang, so the trick to add fish to the aquarium is to put a picture of a larger yellow tang against the glass. It works every single time. I got one. Inside. There it goes. Ooh, look at that color. There you go. There you go. The fairy rats are just kind of like laying down there. We have some blood worms here that we can try feeding. The yellow tang's eating it. Clownfish is eating. The new fish are just hiding. I'm trying to see if he'll eat. Doesn't seem like he is. I found the blenny. Do you see him? The head. He's, he's, he's sticking his head out right there. There he is. When you add wrasses to the aquarium, a lot of them like to play dead and go in the corner. Like that one right there. <laughs> Oh nice, all the rats are swimming around now. Oh, right when I look, he goes back into the hole. <laughs> he was swimming all around the tank earlier. <laughs> this guy goes back. Immediately when I came over, I saw him swimming all around. Immediately when I came over, he's like, oh, gotta play dead again. You see the fish? He's like staring out at us. He's like, What's going on? This guy too. The fish is out. Look how gorgeous that fish is. My gosh, I have to stay far away because any sudden movement, he'll be like, oh my gosh, I'm not safe. That is such a beautiful fish. Mm. 
No. No. Okay, shall we go? Yeah. Are you ready? It's another beautiful day in the bay. Gotta look both ways before crossing. Okay, let's go. You gotta take advantage of hiking before it gets too hot in the summertime. Oh, green fields. This is like where all the Pokemon would come out. The tall grass. A wild corgi is blocking your path. We can't get across. We got him. We caught the corgi. Now we can keep going. I think we're walking to a lake. California golden poppy flowers. It's a golden poppy. He doesn't care. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's poison oak. So inconvenient. Why do they plant poison oak here? <clears throat> no more water? Okay, let's water the poison oak. We made it back. What a great start to the day. Let's continue on with it. It is lunchtime. I've been craving spaghetti for a while, so I thought that we would make some today. If you guys remember, I used to make spaghetti all the time in the vlog. I usually use this Rao's homemade sauce, which is super delicious. But I saw a recipe online that uses this sauce and upgrades it a little bit more, so I thought we would just try it out. This should be super easy. Let's get started. I also bought some garlic bread, super lazy style. You just heat this in the oven and serve it. See if it's any good. Add some extra virgin olive oil. Red pepper flakes. Chop up an onion, four cloves of garlic. It's sizzling a little bit, so we're gonna add now the onions and the garlic we made. Might as well do some basil. Now that the water is boiling, let's add some salt. Spaghetti noodles. This looks pretty good. It's time to open the sauce. A little salt. And then we cover. Okay, the bread is done. Ooh. Try the end piece. I think I could make it way better than this. It tastes just like really cheap. It doesn't taste like the real thing. Hopefully the sauce does though. Okay, the pasta is done. Let's just grab a little bit of the pasta water. There it goes. Uh, basil. We're adding the pasta water back. And now we toss. Ooh. It's lunchtime. Oh my gosh, that was so good. I have been to Italy and I have tried the spaghetti there and of course that one cannot compare to anything else. But I would have to say this is a close second. It's really, really that good. And this garlic bread really isn't. Okay, it's finally time to hit the gym. Gonna hit some upper body today. See you guys there. Mr. Telephone Man, there's something wrong with my line. When I call my Corgi's number, I get a click every time. New phone, who dis? Bring it back, yes, bring it back, come on. The new fish are very, very timid. Any like sudden movements and they're like, oh my gosh, it's gonna be hard to get some good footage until they get a little bit more used to the tank. First up, we have the Catherine's Rasp. It's super cool. It kind of reminds me of like a parrot. It's so beautiful. Next up, we have the Midas Blenny, the fish with the most personality. They kind of like swim with like a ribbon tail, but for right now, he's just hiding and just like sticking his head out. It looks 
so funny. He did come out for like one to two seconds, I noticed when I fed the tank. I'm sure you'll see him in the future, he'll be really cool. The next up, orange back fairy wrasse. What a beautiful fish. Out of all the fish, this one is the most timid. He like barely shows up, but when he does, it's so incredible. Look at that coloring. And finally we have the leopard wrasse. Leopard wrasses sleep under the sand bed. This was one of the fish that I've always wanted to get. It's just so beautiful. He's one of the least timid fish out of all of them. Anyway, it's super exciting. Look for more aquarium updates in the future. What a lucky corgi you are. Going out again? Are you ready? Yeah? I can't hey. surf, but Let's I go. know someone. They can't teach us if you want to. You. It's up to you. But we can go out and grab some food. There's a new place that it's good. <laughs> Warm water, and we wipe down Gatsby. Yeah? That helps get all the pollen and allergens off of him. Seemed to work pretty well, actually. Let's go! Go ahead. Yum, 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 yum. Hey! hey. Welcome to my place. <laughs> This is Sean's place, you guys, a new place. The imaginary... Table. Yeah. Oh yeah. Living room, oh. kind of set up. We have oh, chairs. he has chairs now. Laundry unit over there. Kitchen. Oh look, he, oh look, someone could live in there. Yeah, that's big enough, dude. <laughs> oh wow, huge. Wow, that's a really nice yeah. little porch thing. And then uh, that's a storage closet. Oh, wow. It's kind of big. Like that it has a ceiling. Yeah. It's in my room. Ignore the this bed. Is... I'm doing laundry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, exactly. Here's Sean's room. Nice. And that exit to the balcony. We both have it, actually. Oh, nice. Him and his roommate. Identical. Oh, and you have your bathroom here, right? Yeah, I'm a bathroom. I have a closet on two sides. Wow, that's a lot of closet space. <laughs> yeah. These are tall closets. Yeah. And then <laughs> the bathroom is super, super basic. Oh. Yep. It's a bathroom. <laughs> yep. We're gonna play some video games. Guess what game we're gonna play? <gasps> Here it is! My Pikachu breaks it and Machamp. Get ready to lose, Ryan. No! Pikachu! I you're you're ground type. No! Pikachu! Stop it! Yeah! What the? I like how typing has no effect on this <laughs> game. Yes! Go! No, 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 yes, no, no, Pikachu, no, 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 no. go! Go! Am I dead? Nope, no. nope, not, not yet. No! 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 no. You're not dead yet, you're not dead yet. Survive! Survive! No! Pikachu! Oh, I finally got a kill from you, by the way. Okay, Brakeman, you can do it. Shoot your fire. Yes. Yes. Okay, go, go. Oh. oh, perfect. Well, you didn't have that much that, like HP left. Okay. Okay. The tables are turning. Ow! What? Go, go. No! 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 <laughs> Oh, cheap shot. Go, no, go, Brexit. Go, go. Yes. I'm dead. I'm dead. She's gonna play. What is she doing? I'm dead. Yay! Woo! Well, unfortunately, Sean's gonna have to keep practicing. Yeah, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Bye, Sean. Thanks for playing. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, well that's gonna do it for us for today's vlog. I am way more inspired now. <laughs> now that I have more fish, I noticed I've just been staring at the aquarium a lot more. I have to make sure that the water quality gets a lot better before I can add some corals. Hopefully everything can come back to normal. Anyway, I'm gonna head to bed. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. We'll see you guys in the next one. Good night. We're gonna find a place to eat our bentos. Look at this view. The doggies here. <laughs>